what's up guys welcome back to the channel this is Austin code cipher and in the last tutorial I showed you how to create a registration form and in this tutorial we're going to be creating a login form if you missed the video I'm going to leave the link in the description below so it will be the first link you'll be seeing and this is our login page as you can see you can write all the password click the login button if you're not yet a user you click the registration link so stick around and i'm going to show you how it's done so guys behind the scenes i went and read list all the code so we are going to be writing it from scratch so this is the basic html structure you're seeing and i put this center tag to center everything you're going to be writing on our web page so i'll start with writing an h3 now say login here save and this is what you are seeing on as the heading of our form so I'll write the form tag let me say form and inside the form this is where you can put the action where you want the user to go after submitting the form and also you put the method either it's a get or post but mainly for the form fields we use the post so this is where you can put post and here you put like login.php php so right now it's not going to be going anywhere we are just going to be styling it using our table tag so we shall write table and inside table write the table rot here close this the tr we shall write the table data which is going to be the username the field to put the username we shall say username Let me scroll down to create some space. So write another TD for the input field. Say TD. Let's say input. Type will be text. And the name will be like user. So you can target this using PHP. So we shall create another table row. TR. create table data td and this is going to be password password create another table data td and this is going to be our input field and the type will be password and the name can be user underscore pass so these are user defined you can put what you want let's check out save create in our browser so this is what we are having although they are not of the same length or oh, we are missing e here save so although they are not of the same length our table we are laying the text field in the same line or position so it's time now we create the button submit button shall so create tr table row scroll down itd so for the table data and this is going to be the submit button submit the name you can leave it submit also but change the value to like login since it's a login form to say login and this is what we are going to be having so remember the other information which we had not yet a member register here so we create for it also for it we create another table data 
in the same table row so we are still in this same table row with oh we shall say not yet a member not yet a member exclamation question mark then we introduce the anchor tag a h reef and i will close it so i will put my text my visible text in between so i'll say register so the h reef is where we are going to put the link to where the user will be redirected to login to register in case is not yet a, a member so as you can see on the right hand side where you see my math my cursor rotating so this is the first log registration form we created let me preview it in a browser so that you can see it so this is the first one i i created if you missed the video i'm going to leave the link in the description below so that you watch it so as you can see also here they said if you're already a user log in so they'll be redirected to this page if they are not yet so let's first work on the login side so to access the login registration form i gave it toots.html i will say toots.html so save this and this is what we shall be having so if it's already a user we're just writing the usernames and submit but in case is not yet a, the user he has to first register so he clicks here and comes to the registration form if is on the registration form and is already a user will be forced or kindly requested to place the login page so i'll come to this link set the h hyper reference to login i'll say login whoa what's wrong with this login dot html save so if he's already on the registration form you'll be requested to go to the login page if he's already a member if not yet a member go to the registration form so that's how you can link different web pages using such stuff as you can see let me show you some a little bit of styling see when i press over this button i want the the cursor to change to a pointer or like some hand like pointer i don't want this arrow like somebody to submit a form and it's in, still in the arrow shape i'll go to let me see i'll put some styling here in the head section i'll say style and i'll select the input and i want the submit i want the cursor to be a pointer so let me see if that has worked as you can see when i press over the submit button it becomes in a pointer and shape so that's what i want i don't i ne you can't leave this default arrow to again submit the form so you have to put something like that for the user to know that is ready to submit the form as you can see it's working even on links but still this side you can apply the same logic on how i did this thanks for watching guys subscribe to the channel like the video share it on different social medias and i'll see you in the next tutorials peace you can go ahead design it the way you want it's open to you 
the source code is yours peace subscribe